to look at gold today, which has uh, been a, a pretty exciting market, a very popular market lately. Um, now, gold normally is driven by US dollar strength, uh, yields on bonds, etc., which is pretty much what it did during 2022. Uh, you can see that uh, as the US dollar strengthened, as the Fed started tightening, we had this real decline in the price. Um, US dollar entered a bit of a bear market here. So we see the gold price go up, a bit of a pullback, and then it's shot off to uh, test these all time highs uh, that were set last uh, twice last year we had it uh, August 2020 sorry and uh, a test of that last year now this area here um, was basically the start of the, the banking crisis which saw gold really be coming to its own as a safe haven um, testing the all-time highs at the top there where we were rejected uh, on Friday this area here is, is going to be st stiff resistance um, being the all-time highs we see that was tested 2022 and again last week and, and been rejected so far now we do have um we'll zoom in a bit here on gold there is some really good support around this level here which was resistance um a couple of months ago now anything that's resistance that turns into support normally is a good support level and it has a bit more uh you can try a bit more trust behind it see the same down here around this 1800 level where it was a uh, support, sorry, resistance turning into support. Now, the way I'd play gold, um, I think it's going to have a really tough time getting through this resistance. This is this all-time high uh, is is where an area where the sellers are really coming in. It's also an area where I think um, central banks and, and governments don't want to see gold get past. To be honest, if I'm going to be a bit of a conspiracy theorist, but the way I'll be playing this market is I think this this area here is your support area. I still think there's an option in gold. I still think that as a safe haven, it's got um, some definite upside left in it with, with what's going on. So the way to play the way I'll be playing it, uh, anything in this green zone to me is a buy with the thought it will come up and test these highs again. Um, I wouldn't be buying it anywhere near this resistance level for now. I think any rejections that would be quite violent. But if we do, if we do see a breakthrough, through this if, if there is something that uh, can drive it through another crisis of some sort and we get a break here there would you'd expect be a pretty fast rally up how much legs it'll have we don't, I don't know but um, yes there, there will be a move up through there now the, the keep buying it um, I think until we see a break of this support so if we get past this one um, which is, I would guess, is, is a is a major support level, but uh, less uh, established than, say, this one down here, this 1800 level, where I believe that um, we could see another leg down to gold if, if we see a break of that. Long in this green section, um, stay away from shorting around here, buying here, until you see a confirmation of a break to the downside, which would be a, a sell with a view of a longer-term downtrend. Uh, or a break and a hold of this all-time high level, which would be, um, you'd expect to see a big move up from that point.